Right, spring is in full swing now. This green is really starting to grow. So today I'm gonna take the opportunity and do a little mini reno on this, just to see how much I can get the bent to fill in before I spray it out in about a month's time to let the old tiff tuff come back. Cause here in Orange, tiff tuff kaiku, as in like cooch kaiku and that still is dormant, as you can see. Brown lawn still around here. They're slowly starting to wake up. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this cool season grass here for a little bit longer, get it to fill in and then transition it out, but let's do it. So I was just giving the green a quick mow before we do a little mini reno on this. So I haven't showed you guys this bent green in a while because it's winter and people were whinging that it looked disgusting, which it did. It honestly did. And I was just like, stop yours. I don't want to show anymore. I just, there wasn't much going on with it. It wasn't growing. It was winter time, getting a frost. We even got some snow in there as well. So nothing was happening. But now it's spring. This is starting to move. So I've been cutting it pretty much nearly every day at the moment at about five mil with the um, Swarm and Electra. It's cutting it pretty well, to be honest. Still a few uneven spots. Um, up the back, it's still bare, as you can see here, and down the front, it's a little bit bare as well. So we're gonna fix those spots up today, give this lawn a top dress, core a couple of spots, not the whole green, um, and get it done. So today I'm using this core aerator from um, Real Solutions. I'll put the link down in the description below, maybe in the comments as well. If you guys want to find this, I do not sell this. I've had the question a few times in emails, I don't sell it. You can get it from Real Solutions. Um, but yeah, we're basically just going to do the, the crappy spots that you can see here, here, just to promote a little bit of aeration. There is some bent all throughout here, it's just the roots are sitting down below. So we're going to try to get some air down into those roots, try and get some top dress down to those areas as well, because these spots have a lot of standing water all the time, and water seems to lay here. And we might go a little bit heavier with the top dress here as well, because a little bit of a, a dip de doo just through here, um, so yeah, we're just gonna do it. Let's get it done. But as you can see, I love this thing. It's got good weight. You can get down nice and deep, and it will pop out those cores like that for you. Easy. There's no way I do my whole lawn like this. But for the green, and for like little small areas, this thing is dead set perfect. Absolutely perfect. Quick tip is, if you do this at home, make sure you water your lawn the night before, even if you're hiring out a machine. But look at this, it takes out huge plugs. That just broke, because there's no roots in that area. Look at that, decent. That's at least two and a bit inches, which is just absolutely awesome. Easy to do when you've got nice soft soil like that. As you can see as well, they're like self-ejecting um, tines, which is what you want. Um, when you're using one of those. So those things are great, like seriously so good. And the depth they get when your soil's nice and wet, perfect. <laughs> So today I'm only doing a really light top dress, basically to help the bent to creep into the bare areas. Fix up some levels, so I might go a bit heavier on some areas that need some decent levels, but I'm dead set I'm putting down about five mil of top dress on this area. Maybe not even that, maybe like two or three mil. Just to get some bent going, beep, going sideways. It's really gonna help promote that. If I hit it with some fertilizer, which 
I get this question all the time too, actually, so I should answer it. Um, highly recommend you fertilize your lawn a week before if you can, um, with the fertilizer you're going to be using for your reno. So put it down half rate the week before, and then the day of your reno, put down half rate again. Just so you've got some active growth growing the week before. Now I put down some fert on this, some granular, about four days ago, so I'm a bit slow on it, but that's alright. I put, had a bit of urea in it, so it it's pushing some growth, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, that's the idea. And so next we'll put on some fertilizer after we put this top dressing down and water it in and help that sand settle. But we're gonna to top dress now. It's a little bit wet, which I said, which is not ideal, but it's okay. Um, but the technique is, you guys see me do this many a times, plant the foot and flick of the wrist. Flick and go. And there we go. That's all there is to it. And the reason we do this instead of putting it in piles everywhere is just because you get a nice even application. There's a weed in there. Get out. But yeah, very easy to do. So I'm all done with that. Um, I've gone really, really thick through this area here because it was such a low spot. If the bent doesn't come through, to be honest, I'm not too stressed. It will, but if it didn't, I'm not too worried because I've got the cooch coming back through um, in about a month's time. So levels like that would be great in the long run. Um, and through here, like it was really, really bad through here. Like there was a massive dip just there. So I put a lot of sand through here. You probably can't see. But that would be, yeah, it's pretty thick. Now that will settle down into there a lot more as well. And if I find the grass isn't growing through, I'll just come out with a level and push it around a bit. It doesn't really matter. There's no need to stress too much about it. You're only going to kill your grass if you left it on there for like two weeks or something. Um, if I find I don't see grass coming through there, that's when I will obviously be a good little boy and push it around a bit more. But yeah, this isn't a... Proper, proper reno, this is like a mini reno. So if I was doing a proper reno, I would have scarified this. If the grass was longer, I would have scalped it, scarified it, cleaned all that up, then done a core aeration. And then after the core aeration, that's when I do the top dress, rub it in really, really well, if this was a normal reno, and then I'd fertilize on top of that. That's the order of process I would do. But since it's just a mini one, and I'm just trying to get this bent to fill in, trying to get some levels on this area just here, I've gone a little bit heavier in some areas with the top dress than really light in areas just here. This is what you normally want to aim for. Is looking for, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but all these leaf blades popping back through like that there. That's perfect. That is the goal. And as soon as I put some water on those spots as well, we'll see more grass popping through as well. So don't stress out too much. And you can always fix it in a couple of days if you don't see grass growing through. I'm gonna put this inoculate complete out. Now you could use XN, you could use any, any fertilizer you want to use really um, that at least has something that will give it a good quicker growth and I love a good slow release fert as well the reason I use this I've talked about it so many times is because it's got the humic acid and the wetting agent in here as well so yeah and a mini prill which you need on shortcut turf like this so let's put it out and Bob's your uncle mm. Oh, that is done. Easy. Wish the other lawn was that quick. That took me dead set 20 minutes. That's ridiculous. Anyway, so I'm going to water it in now and basically let it fill in. So I won't be mowing this for the next probably two weeks unless it grows like crazy and fills in, um, which is fine. So we've got to do with Renault because you've got to be really, really careful with getting sand in your reels on your cylinder mowers. Um, might even have to give it a hit with the rotary first mow. Depends on how long it is. Um, but yeah, I'll wrap the video up there, but thanks guys so much for watching. So glad it's springtime and we've got some stuff to do on the lawn now. Really, really exciting to do something different other than mowing.
loving it. So, we're going to be doing some updates on Matt's lawn this year. As you guys saw, we went to Matt's lawn the other week with that pre-emergent. We're going to try and do some updates on that lawn this year because we're starting to get some rain here in Orange. Dam levels are filling up. Matt's got a water tank, will be sweet. Um, got a lawn out of town, which is about 300 square, 3,000 square meters, sorry. It's gonna be doing some content on that as well. So I might show you guys that that lawn this weekend or something, see what happens. And then I'm gonna go to Josh's place towards the end of the season, if we get enough water, and I can show you guys how it's tracking along as well. But thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. I'll keep you guys updated with this and how it grows through week by week. But yeah, I'll talk to you later.